Jack and Nori, Jack and Nori. What's the story, Jack and Nori? George's Marvellous Medicine by Ronald Dow, Chapter 2, The Marvellous Plan. George sat himself down at the table in the kitchen. He was shaking a little. Oh, how he hated Grandma. He really hated that horrid old witchy woman. All of a sudden, he had a tremendous urge to do something about her. Something whopping. Something almost absolutely terrific. A real shocker. A sort of explosion. He wanted to blow away the witchy smell that hung about her in the next room. He may have been only eight years old. But he was a brave little boy. He was ready to take this old woman on. I'm not going to be frightened by her, he said softly to himself. But he was frightened. That's why he wanted Sonny to explode her away. Well, not quite away. But he did not want to shake the old woman up. But he did want to shake the old woman up a bit. Very well, then. What would it be, this bopping, terrific, exploding shock of old grandma? Would he... He would have liked to put a firework banger up under a chair, but he didn't have one. He would have liked to put a long green snake down the back of a dress, but he didn't have a long green snake. He would have liked to put six black rats in a room with a locked door, but he didn't have six black, big black rats. As George sat there pondering his interesting problem, his eyes fell upon the bottle of Grandma's brown medicine standing on the sideboard. Rotten stuff it seemed to be. Four times a day, a large spoon for it was shoveled into her mouth, and it didn't do us the slightest bit of good. She was always just as horrid as after she had it as she'd been before. The whole point of medicine, surely, was to make a person better. If it didn't do that, then it was quite useless. So, ha! thought George suddenly. Aha! Mm hmm. I know exactly what I'll do. I shall make her a new medicine, one that's so strong, so fierce and so fantastic, it'll cure her completely, it'll blow her off the top of her head. I'll make her a magic medicine, a medicine no doctor in the world has never made before. George looked at the kitchen clock. It said five past ten. There's nearly an hour left before Grandmother's last dose was due to eleven. Here we go then, cried George, jumping up from the table. A magic medicine it shall be. Oh, give me a bug and thumping flea. Give me two snails and lizard the free. A slimy snuggler from the sea. Point sting of a bumblebee. A juice from a fruit of a jump tr- jump tr- tree. A powdered bone of a wombat's knee. I have one hundred thing, other things as well. Each a rather nasty smell. I stir them up and I bowl them long. A tough mixture, tough and so mixture strong. Then he ho and the down it goes. A nice big spoonful, hold your nose. Just gulp it down, have no fear. How do you like it, Grandma, Granny dear? When she'll go pop, she will, she explode. When she go flying down the road, will she go puff in a puff of smoke? Stop fizzing like a can of coke. Who knows, not I. Let's wait and see. Oh, I'm glad it's neither you or me. Oh, Grandma, it's only if only you knew what I got in store for you.